This is my unboxing and tasting for Bow Candy for November 2015, and I'm here with Subscription Box Dad. Hello. And we're gonna try out um, this box, and it is $15 a month for the full size box, which is what we are unboxing. And they are having a Black Friday special that gives you 60% off your first box. So you can try this box out for six bucks. So pretty darn cheap, be sure to take advantage. I don't know when it expires, but I'm gonna make sure this is up for Black Friday, so be sure to use it. Um, if I have an expiration code, I'll put it in the description so you'll know. All right, so this is how the box shipped. Here is a look inside. Now normally there's a little information sheet, um, but there is not one in this box because it just accidentally got left out. So they emailed it to me, so that is what I'm going to um, reference in my review. So, um, let's see. I'm gonna try first. Looks like we have Kit Kat bars and these are Cheesecake Kit Kat bars from Japan. And I'm pretty sure we've had these mm -hmm. and weren't a huge fan, but we're gonna try them again anyway. All right, so this is what they look like. All right, um, I mean, I think if you like cheesecake, they're not, you know, terrible. It's, um, it has like a buttery cheesecake kind of mm -hmm. taste. Um, yeah, it's like a, with the wafer, kind of with the regular Kit Kat wafer take, uh, texture to it. Yep. So, they're decent for what they are. I still like traditional better, but. Okay, I actually don't see this on my information sheet. Um, Paletta? I'm By guessing Della Rose. it is maybe from Mexico? Maybe? Could be. Um, not sure. That's just a guess. Chocolate covered marshmallow lollipop. That's what it looks like. Brace yourself. This tastes like chocolate covered marshmallow. Chocolate's kind of a different taste though. Mm. Is it the chocolate or the marshmallow? I think it's a chocolate. Mm -hmm. Chocolate has like a weird, uh, interesting aftertaste. Yeah, it is a little bit different. I thought maybe it was like a marshmallow with like a vanilla flavor in it. A little bit, it is a little bit different, but it does taste like, you know, chocolate covered marshmallows. Mm -hmm. The marshmallow is pretty dense um, and thick, so it's good. All right, uh, Pelon Pilo Rico, and this is like a candy. Um, it's from Mexico, and it's tamarind uh, pate, and basically you take this tube off, and it is sort of like, it looks like a colander, and you just press it up, and it comes out through the tube, and you can kind of lick it off and stuff. Um, we're not going to try it. This is probably something we'll give our kids, um, but it kind of has a, I'm trying to remember what tamarind tastes like. I think it's rather sweet, um, from what I remember. Um, what's next? This is Waffi from Bulgaria, and it's a peanut wafer with real peanuts. All right, I just broke it in half. That's what it looks like, and we're gonna give it a taste. You definitely can taste the roasted, roasted peanuts with a really light wafer, mm -hmm. wafers in there. Chocolate's a, kind of a dark chocolate flavor mm -hmm. too. It's really good. It's co it complements the complements the peanuts. Well. This reminds me of like an American candy, and I don't remember what. It is. I almost thought Snickers at first when I mm -hmm. bit into it. I mean, but it's not like. But it's totally different. Yeah, it's, no, just, it's pretty different than that. It's just I don't know, it's all peanuts. Really crunchy. Like. I don't know, it's really good though. I wish they had this in the States. Alright, I think these are the uh, Tanox tea cakes from Scotland. Um, that's what it looks like. And that's a look inside. It's sort of like cake. Can I incorrectly identify this? Um, this is the Gaxa Vanilla uh, from Bulgaria, G-Y-X-A, um, and it says it's like a Slavic Twinkie. Um, this is definitely, because when I tasted this, I was like, this doesn't have any graham crackers in it. Um, but this is like a chocolate coated cake. Um, the marshmallow was very, very small. Um, if you saw, you know, the, the look inside of it, um, it's just kind of a small sliver of marshmallow. What'd you think? Yeah, I mean, it was okay. I wasn't really a big fan of the cake on the inside. I felt like it's just like standard packaged yellow cake. 
kind of flavor. I don't know. I don't think it's bad. <clears throat> okay. So this is the um, the tea cakes from Scotland. So this is the one with the cream cracker in it. That's what it looks like. All right, I thought that was really good. Um, actually, we ate it, so I just pulled me a true wrapper. Um, but most three fourths of the treat was filled inside with marshmallow, and then the bottom little um, rim was like the graham cracker, like a graham cracker crumble kind of thing. Um, and it's all coated with like a little chocolate. So as soon as you took a bite, it, it almost, it was like the air escaped and kind of collapsed on itself. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it was a rather messy thing to um, to eat, but it was really good. I liked it. Did you like it? Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. It tastes, definitely tasted, reminds me of a s'more. Yeah. Could have used a couple of those in here. Um, all right. We have a sucker. And normally I would give this to my kids, but since it's a pretty unique flavor, or it looks like it's pretty unique, we're gonna try it. Mexican corn sucker. It looks weird. It says, despite its appearance, this chili powder covered sucker actually tastes like strawberries. Really? Okay, I, I'm really curious on how chili pepper is gonna taste like strawberries, but we'll try it. I'll try it first. So Pure from Box Dad does not like spicy food. All right, so this is what it looks like. I'm gonna give it a go. Oh my. Um, okay, I, I really gave this one a shot, like multiple times, but I really don't like it at all. It's, um, it has a really funky smell. And I mean, it has, I, I like spicy foods and it's just, I don't like it at all. I don't, I can't even describe it. It's like, I mean, I can taste the chili powder. I don't taste any strawberry. And I tried, you know, I, you know, sucked on it or whatever and tasted the initial flavor and I didn't care for it. So I was like, all right, let me try it again. Maybe I can get more of the chili powder off and Maybe. crunch it or something. I, I don't know. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. So I tried, I gave it a fair shake, but it is just not for me. Um, I'm assuming maybe the center has strawberry, but I, I don't know. The chili powder around it just prevented me from getting there. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's that. So <clears throat> that that wasn't that wasn't a favorite at all. Mm, okay. Maybe you, should, maybe you should try the next one. Um, gum. Yeah, gum. This looks pretty safe. <clears throat> I'm also one of like the pickiest eaters on the planet, if you haven't gathered this from my channel. If I have subscription box to join me, because most of the time he likes, you know, things that I don't. But I know he won't like that because he doesn't like chili powder. And it tasted terrible. Yeah, he actually did taste it, but. Um, all right, so this is gum. Looks good too. Let's see. This is Fusen uh, gum from Japan. And they're really, really fragrant, if they say. So, um, I'm gonna pick strawberry. Which one do you want? Um, grape. Okay. Legal. All right, here's just a look at what they look like. This is strawberry. That's great. This grape. is great. Mine's just more purple. All right. This is really good gum. Two big thumbs up. I love it. Um, Definitely. tastes just like strawberries. I mean, I like strawberry gum. Tastes like strawberry gum. Very flavorful, juicy grape. Yes, very easy to chew. Um, very soft. It's like really fantastic gum. Favorite thing in the box, I think. The last item in the box is something we've had before. Flower pastels from Japan. Um, they're described as citrus treats with beautiful pastel packaging. All right, subscription box dad, pick one. Um. I'll try that one. I think they might all be the same because both of ours look like this. I think these are good. Um, a little citrusy, kind of sweet, fruity. Um, Not super hard. They, they they chew up pretty easily. Mm -hmm. They're good. All right, that's everything in the box. Um, I always hard to do this end kind of photo with all of our kind of half-eaten stuff in here. Um, I think it's a fun box. You know, I mean. You get different stuff, different kind of treats all over the world. Some of them you're gonna like, you know, like the waffy or wafy, whatever. 
and then you know some of them you're not like this sucker um corn sucker yeah but i think it's a fun box and you can try it for six bucks so i mean that's not bad no i mean to get candy from all over the world where you'd have to like you know google it and find out what do i want to order from japan or what do i want to order from bulgaria you know they do all that for you when you try something new maybe you'll like it maybe you won't but it's fun yeah, it's fun so awesome. Anyway, I, I recommend the box. I think it's fun. Like I said, use that Black Friday coupon. Get your box for six bucks. Great deal. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.